Factsverse presents Jack wakes up with a black eye and finds his wife's note that made him cry. Most people have had a bit too much to drink at least once in their lives. After a night of heavy drinking, you often wake up with a huge hangover. It's the worst feeling in the world. You wake up with a massive headache, you are nauseous, and you are sweaty and very uncomfortable. Many people wake up wondering what they did the night before. When you ask your friends what happened, you either hear that you did something horrible, something embarrassing, or that you did the coolest thing ever. The hangover and the blackout often make people claim that they will never drink again. When you get this drunk, the alcohol affects your brain. After too many drinks, your brain is not capable of forming memories, which is why you black out and you are unable to remember what you did the night before. For people who don't often drink this much, blacking out is a very scary phenomenon. This is the story of how Jack wakes up with a black eye, finds his wife's strange note, and starts to cry. A man named Jack went through a similar experience. He is a husband and father to a son. He went out with the guys drinking one night, and he drank more than he should have. He says that the drinks were going down so smoothly that night that he just kept drinking. He was having a really good time with his buddies. While he was partying, his wife was at home with his son. After hours of drinking, he was so drunk that he didn't know what was going on. Fortunately, he didn't drink and drive. His friends were smart enough to take his keys and get him a ride home. Had he not had such good friends, this story would have been a lot worse. It could have been about a drunk driving accident or death. When Jack woke up in the morning, his head was pounding and he had no idea how he got home. He lied in bed and tried to piece his night together, but he could only remember fragments of the night. He remembered arriving at the bar. He also remembered bits and pieces of being out at the bar, but the rest was a blur. He lied in bed wondering and worrying about what he did. He said that when you wake up and you cannot remember how you got home, that it is a very frightening thing. When he sat up and opened his eyes, he saw a glass of water and two aspirins on his bedside table. He took the aspirin and he looked around the room. He saw his clothes on the bed beside him, and they had been washed and pressed. His head was killing him, so he went into the bathroom to take a look in the mirror. When he looked, he saw that he had a huge black eye. This scared him even more. He wasn't sure if he had gotten into a fight or into a car accident driving himself home. When he looked up, he found a note pinned to the corner in his wife's handwriting. At first, he panicked. He thought that maybe he did something horrible, and this was a Dear John letter, and she had left him. It wasn't until he saw the little hearts on the note and a kiss mark from his wife's lipstick that he realized that maybe he wasn't in as much trouble as he had thought. When he was finally able to focus his eyes and read the letter, he didn't get any answers to his question. The note read, Dear Husband, Last night you came home drunk and made a huge racket, but don't worry, breakfast is on the stove. I left early to get groceries and make your favorite dinner tonight. I love you, darling. Love, Jillian. At this point, he thought that he either did something really bad or something really good. He was worried that maybe he did something terrible and his wife was setting him up for a huge disappointment. He couldn't imagine doing something so good in his severely inebriated state that would have made his wife happy enough to do all of these things for him. She rarely ever made him breakfast. It was also very unusual for her to press his clothes for the day. This was something that he typically did himself. She also never went to the market to buy groceries for his favorite dinner. If she did make his favorite dinner, it was often planned ahead of time and not because it was his favorite. She just made it occasionally. Since he really didn't know what was going on, he was still a bit panicked. He had a headache from his black eye and his hangover didn't help. Finally, he ventured downstairs and sure enough, there was hot coffee in the pot and the morning paper and a hot breakfast on the table. His son was already sitting there eating. He didn't want to ask his son what happened, but he had no choice. Finally, he spoke up and asked if he knew what happened. His son told him that he came home drunk out of his mind. He said that Jack fell over the coffee table and it broke. When he got up, he made it to the hallway and threw up. While vomiting, he ran into the door, and that is how he got his black eye. Jack was horrified about what his son told him, and he was still curious about why his wife was being so nice to him. When he asked his son, he finished the story. 
His son told him that his wife dragged him into the bedroom so that she could get him into his pajamas and into bed. When she tried to take his pants off, he started screaming, Leave me alone. I'm married. I'm married. When Jack heard this, he was so relieved that he started to cry. His wife was happy with him because she realized that even in such a drunk state that he would always be faithful. This is enough to make any wife happy. Subscribe for more.